All right, good morning or afternoon students. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of the other functionality of Smart Music, some of the things that you can use in addition to just doing your assignments because this is great, it's a great resource, but throughout the course of a week, you're gonna to wanna to practice more than just this. You're gonna to wanna to play some other things. So let's say I wanna practice number five in my accent book. There are a couple of different places that you can go to get to that. The easiest two places would be here in the sidebar where it says method books. If you click here, you can find all the different method books and then you can find, oh, well here's my book. Or if you're a seventh grader or an eighth grader, oh, here's my book. Um, another way to do that, if you forget where you are and what your name is, you can go up here to search music content and then just type in accent because your book is called Accent and Achievement. And then it should come up right here. You'll just have to make sure that you pick either book one or book two, depending on your grade. So if I'm a sixth grader or a seventh grader at the beginning of the year, and I wanna practice something out of book one, I would just come to this screen and select Accent Book One. And then through this list right here, if there are any things that you would like to practice more than today and you don't want to go through this process again, you could say, man, I really like take five. And I think I'm going to want to practice this again later. Click the little heart to add it to your favorites and then you'll be able to access it through your favorites here or over here. But we'll get to that after a while. So let's say I want to practice number 12. If you click that and then click open, it will ask you to select your instrument. Of course, please select the correct instrument. Um, that's not necessarily trumpet, that's gonna vary depending on what you play. And then click open. And I am going to click no here. You should click yes, but I'm clicking no so that I can continue to speak while the screen recording is going. So this should be a familiar interface if you have tried to play through your test. The only difference here is that you don't have to play a test here. This is just for you and for your practice. So you will be able to control all of these things. You'll be able to change them at will. Um, of course, this is test your microphone. This is play the exercise. This is grade the exercise. And I believe this is what you can click when you've played something and you would like to hear it again. Now, all of these things over here you can look through these at your own leisure. Um, there are some options in display, like you can turn that little highlight off. You can change what the, the cursor looks like while you're playing, but all of that's just kind of extra stuff. I would leave all of that alone. I would click that because I'm colorblind. But um, the number one thing that you need to do is just look at tracks, what you want to be playing while you're playing, and then the tempo. You can control the tempo there. Okay, now if we're looking at some more advanced things, let's say you want to tune, you can go over here to the right side and click this little tuning fork, and that should open up a new window that will allow you to tune. So you can use that instead of an app if you like. For me personally, while I'm playing into smart music, I have my cell phone tuner out beside me, but this is a good resource and you could conceivably have this here and have this other tab here and you would be just fine. 